Hey guys, what's good? Welcome back to Dippery Studios. I'm your host, Asher Dippery, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to disappear. All right guys, so what's up? Let's get started. Before we hop into After Effects, we're gonna need two shots. The first one is you getting ready to disappear. Be doing whatever you're gonna be doing, all right? So you're mowing the lawn, and then you're gonna look into the camera and stop. And just stay looking at the camera for maybe four seconds. Once you have that, we're going to take one more shot of you just getting up and walking away out of the frame. That way, the camera can pick up a clean plate. Like if you watched our last episode where we did that floating effect, same concept there. And also, like the floating effect, try to be in a place where you're not casting too much shadow. You can see, if I was way back here, I would get the shadow behind my hand. But because I'm kind of further away from the background, then there's not so much shadow. So we're gonna drag in our foreground layer and our background layer into After Effects. Once we have that, we can find a good spot on the background layer and right click it, select time and select freeze frame. And that means that the entire length of the clip will just be a single static picture, an image. Now on the foreground layer, we're gonna duplicate it and make the top one a freeze frame as well. Now we can take that and line it up near the end of the original foreground clip. All right, now we're gonna take that freeze frame foreground clip and create a mask around it. So now if you disable the layer behind it, you should see that it either turns black or just a transparent grid, whichever one you have selected in After Effects. Now we are almost done right here. We just need to apply the CC Scatterize effect and then animate that. So we're gonna go to the start, click on the little stopwatch to create a keyframe and go to the end and that'll scatterize it even more and then once you feel good with that, you can kind of animate the opacity or just leave it as is. And as you can see, you're done. All right, everyone. It's been great showing you how to do this. And I'll see you next time on Dippery Studios.